Welcome to Fastenal. My name is Craig Davis. I'm one of the area managers here in the Winona Distribution Center. And I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about our distribution system at Fastenal. Our basic model is a hub and spoke model. We have 15 distribution centers in North America. In that model, each distribution center is set up to service approximately a 500 mile radius. So most of the stores we deliver to, when we have an order come in, we're able to deliver that next day. One of the systems that we have to make sure we get inventory where the need is, is what we call inventory redistribution. That means that we are looking at our inventory every day at every business unit we have, whether it be a branch or a distribution center, finding where we have surplus and determining where we have need and moving the product to where those needs are. So for order fulfillment, when product is ordered, there's really two categories that we look at. We look at stock, replenishment, so we establish minimums and maximums. When we drop below the minimum, that order goes into our system to pull that to send it to the branch. If it's a sold request, that means that it's not necessarily planned, but it's something requested by our customers. When those orders go in, they go to wherever the nearest inventory is. That ideally and in most situations is coming from the nearest distribution center, but if the inventory is not at that distribution center, we start looking at the next nearest option. And in some cases, we'll go to the vendor and actually bring more inventory in to make sure that we can meet those needs. Now that you have an idea of how our system works on a high level, we'd like to take a look at a little more detail within our window and the distribution center. When we go through our tour, part of what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the path of where the inventory goes from the point of coming in the door to the point of getting shipped back out the door. So the first stop typically is gonna be in our receiving department. The receiving department will verify to make sure it's the right part, make sure it's the right quantity, and that it's routed to the proper destination within the distribution center. Within the majority of the distribution centers we have here at Fastenal, we have automated systems referred to as ASRS. That stands for Automated Storage and Retrieval System. The majority of inventory that we're bringing into the distribution center will be going into that system. And part of what we do after verifying that the product is correct is we put that product into inventory totes that go directly on the conveyor into the system. But before they're introduced to the system completely, those totes cross an inline scale and we do a quality check to verify that that tote weighs what we expect it to. If that tote is too light or too heavy, then it actually is diverted to an inspection station where we will verify to make sure that that product is correct. The next step in our pathway for a product Whatever inventory was not directly inducted into our automated system will go to our product handling department for storage. Our product handling department also moves product directly into the ASRS when we drop below established minimums for inventory in that system. One of the tools that we use for storing inventory with our product handling department is a turret truck in a narrow aisle with racking. This typically is used for overstock storage and it's a real dense overstock storage that allows us to get as much inventory stored in the warehouse as possible. These turret trucks go up and down the aisles. They're navigating on a magnetic line that's embedded in the floor and they help to move that product into storage and then when we need it, out of storage, typically into our automated system. Our ASRS system in Winona is comprised of eight cranes that store totes in a rack structure that has the capacity to store about 250,000 inventory totes. 
So we've really got two parts to that. We've got what we call mini load, and then we also have pick to light areas. And both of those areas are much more efficient than what you would see in our traditional picking. In our mini load stations, our minimum goal for picks per hour is actually 70 picks per hour. When we go to pick to light, where we're picking without labels directly into totes, our minimum goal is 150 picks per hour. In both of these areas, we're also much more accurate due to a real simple fact that we're touching the product a lot less. For every package that we pick out of our automated system, we're actually touching that one package six fewer times to get it from our picking department to the branch. And in our shipping totes, we average about 20 items in a tote. So when you look at a tote that we're shipping out to our branch, you can think, wow, that's 120 fewer touches. And the name of the game is touch it less. So if you touch it less, you have fewer opportunities to make mistakes that disappoint your customers. When we take a look at a mini load station, you'll see there are shelves at the station. We have a single picker picking at that station. And every one of the totes that you see on these shelves represents a specific fast sell business unit. So our ASRS system will deliver inventory in those gray totes to specifically meet the needs of the branches at this one particular station. The pick to light process is actually a fairly simple one. We have shipping totes that we put on the conveyor. Every one of those shipping totes is assigned specifically to a branch order. So when that tote goes on the conveyor, the conveyor tracks that tote, moves it around, and stops the tote wherever there's inventory that that branch has ordered. When the tote stops, we have colored lights on the system that light up and direct the pickers in terms of what they need to pick, how much they need to pick, and what tote to put it in. After we're done in the picking department, that product is routed through our sortation department. And the vast majority of product goes onto a conveyor. And before that product is sorted on our automated sortation machines, the product actually goes over an inline scale. If those packages are lighter or heavier than what we expected, those packages are diverted to an inspection station where we take a closer look. When the packages successfully pass the quality check, those packages are sorted to a gate. Those packages are then moved to a pallet. Every time the product is moved, they're not only physically moved, but they're systematically moved. So we have full traceability of that product. When the pallets are full and they're ready to go on the truck, they'll move on to our shipping department. The heart of product movement from business unit to business unit is our trucking system. We ship the majority of our product on fast haul trucks. They're loaded in a way that makes it efficient for the drivers to deliver. The majority of our truck routes are out through the night, back the next day. Company-wide, we send out more than 200 truck routes a day, and those truck routes comprise more than 200,000 miles. So we know that when our customers need inventory, they want it as soon as possible. With our local branches, because they're local, because they know our customers, we can oftentimes have that inventory available right now. But in the case when that inventory is not available at the local branch, typically the majority of our orders are fulfilled the very next morning. So that means when the branch puts in a request, that order is picked today, goes on a truck tonight, and is delivered early the next morning. So when our branch personnel come in, they've got everything they need to go take care of their customers. Well, that's a look at our distribution center for today. Hopefully we answered some questions. Hopefully we triggered some new questions that you might have an opportunity to ask 
one of our representatives. So if there's any way that we can serve you, any way we can help you in the future, please let us know.